And we are here at Hopkinton Swimming. It is January 20th, a Monday night, Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. So for tonight, we just wanted to let you know that this is senior night. We're going to be honoring the seniors here at Hopkinton. Um, this is Kevin Legassi once again with Eve Weatherhead. She's going to be up on the camera. She's going to announce diving. John Belger will be joining us tonight as well. He's going to do the announcing of senior night, and he's going to also help us with uh, the camera. So tonight is the Wolverines of Westwood and the Hopkinton Hillers. We'll get into a little bit more about senior night in a little while while we get ready for the 200 medley relay. Clean start on the two medley relay in lane two, Blake Briner in lane four, Mary Lauren Bork. And in lane six, Tyler Fallon. Hillers come in with an eight and two overall record, five and one in the TVL. They're only lost to Ashland. Westwood comes in in the TVL with a four and two record, sitting in third place. Hopkinton tied with Dover Sherborne right now uh, in the TVL. That's Bliner, Bryner closest to us, Mayor Lauren Burke, and Hopkinton, one, two, three across. They turn it over in lane two. That's Tyler Holbrow, lane four, Allison Fu. And lane six, Kevin Gu, the breaststroke. So this is backstroke, breaststroke, fly, and freestyle. Hopkinton opening up their lead. Holbrow, Fu, and Gu. Gu up top. In lane six, closest to us is Tyler Holbrow, Allison Fu in the center of the pool. They're going to turn it over to Juliana Lucas in lane two. Ritesh Rosanigan in lane four. And Aiden McDonald. Coming in first right now, it's Tyler Holbrow turning it over to Juliana Lucas. Juliana usually a diver, she's gonna dive tonight, but they're getting the seniors, or actually they're getting some other people in the pool. Juliana's not a senior. Ritesh Rosanigan in the center of the pool, doing a fly. And up top, that is Aiden McDonald. Juliana Lucas got a pretty good fly. I wonder why she's only been diving all these years. Looks good, up top, Aiden McDonald starting to open up a little bit, lead on his teammate, Ritesh Rosanigan. Juliana Lucas holding on to third in the water is the final swimmers. Sophia Luce up top, Alex Matsukas, and now Cassie White. Hopkinton 1 2 3 right now, as that is Sophia Luce, Alex Matsukas, and taking the turn now, Cassie White coming in. That is Matsukas in the center pool, looking to cruise to victory, followed by. Sophia Luce, a race for third place here. Hopkinton, Sophia Luce, Luce. Looks like she may have just gotten touched out at the end, really close. It's hard to tell from up here. If our perch looks a little bit different tonight from where it normally is, we are to the right-hand side of where we normally announce from, the Westwood Swimmers setup where we normally announce our swim and dive. So this is the final meet of the season for the Hopkinton Hillers Swim and Dive. A successful season thus far for the Hillers under the tutelage of first year coach, head coach, Kristen Weber. Weber came to the Hillers from Boston College. She's a teacher in Natick, <coughs> excuse me. And Weber was a college swimmer uh, and uh, has joined the Hillers has joined the Hillers after the announcement that Jeff Libby is going to step down and did step down as head coach. He's been assisting all year, year long. One of the things I want to mention tonight, too, as we get into the broadcast a little bit, we'll talk a little bit about her, but longtime assistant coach Karen Terry is going to retire. At least we suspect she's going to retire. Anyways, we'll thank her for her service as this goes on. Heat two for the 200 medley relay. Lane two closest for us, Hopkinton, Connor Willardson, center of the pool, Ryan DeLeva, and up top in lane six, Leo Kepik, the Atina Kepik. She goes by Leo, it's been scratched out and it says Leo. As they take the turn, heat two is not a scoring heat, but these kids are all swimming for personal best in times. Hopkinton took one, two in the first relay. Center of the pool, 
Ryan DeLeva, Connor Willardson closest to us, and up top, Leotina Kepik. She's going to turn, turn it over in the center of the pool. That's Irini Thetagula in the pool. First is Maggie McCarthy in lane two. Now up top in lane six, Deidre Belger. Lane two opening up a slight lead. That's Maggie McCarthy. Followed closely by Harini Thadagula. And up top, Deidre Belger. Breast stroke. Challenged in lane one by Westwood right now. That's Maggie McCarthy being challenged by Westwood. She's going to turn it over to Declan to uh, actually should Chitrali Samant for the fly in the center, Declan Hanscom for the fly stroke. And up top in lane six going into the pool now is Ishtra Karana. Westwood pulling up a little bit in lane one. It's Hopkinton, Declan Hanscom giving chase and he's taking over the lead. Declan Hanscom in the center of the pool, the freshman. He's gonna turn it over to Wyatt Ruff, another freshman. Hopkinton into the pool with her final leg. A nice swim there by Declan Hanscom, the freshman on the fly. Coming in now is Chitrali Samant, and up top is Ishta Karana. In the pool now, lane two, Gabe O'Brien. And up top, that's uh, Ayababa going in. And coming in right now, Wyatt Ruff. Hopkinton in the second heat is going to win and cruise easily to victory. Westwood in lane one is going to take second place. Hopkinton's in lane two with a little fight on her hands, or his hands rather, that's Gabe O'Brien. Lane two, and he is just going to touch out Westwood, looks like. And up top, a, uh, that's Aya Baba giving chase to Westwood. She's see what she's got for a kick here at the end. And just touched out. So as I said, it's senior night tonight. This is Kevin Legassi. I've got Eve Weatherhead on the camera, and then John Belger is going to join us at some point. We had trouble getting two headsets running tonight, so it's only going to be single voice. At some point, John's going to join us for senior night and then end up the meet either on the camera or on the announcing. We'll see how that all runs. Eve has been nice enough. She's going to jump down. Uh, when John jumps up to the camera, she's going to jump down for the diving. She's been our color commentator and a great addition to the team this year. She's a diver herself and the younger sister of Tess Weatherard, who's having a great season this year, along with Juliana Lucas and our divers. Nick Capellis, usually a diver. He's been out all season. He had mono early on in the season and hasn't been diving. It's been a tough loss for the Hillers. It's nice putting three divers out. I did see earlier today warms up. Warming up, it looks like Westwood has a couple of divers. So we waste a little bit of air time here. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 200 freestyle. The 200 free, Hopkinton's going to put out Shaylin Patel, Andrew DeLevin, Holly Burns. Pillars are off. This is eight laps of the pool, freestyle. Shaylin Patel, lane two. Andrew Deleva and Holly Burns. Deleva also a 500 freestyler. As they all flip together at the first turn, four cross lanes, one through four, five and six. Deleva open up a slight lead, challenged by Westwood in the center of the pool. Holding close to him, Shailen Patel. And up top, Holly Burns with a nice swim. She's also a 500 swimmer as well. Deleva with just about a half a body length lead or maybe a head lead as they come in for the turn. First turn at the 75, Andrew Deleva, a senior, one of those honored tonight. <clears throat> at some point we'll have <coughs> Eve pan across when we have a little bit of time in between. We'll have a little bit of time to pan across and look at all the senior posters and portraits. Senior night here for Hopkinton. A little celebration of the seniors. Andrew Deleva at the 100, taking the turn, open up a body length, leave. Shailen Patel giving chase, trying to hold on to and chase down for second place. He's in third right now, and up top, Holly Burns trying to move herself in fifth position, currently in sixth. Patel making a move right now at the 125 mark, trying to move himself into second position. Andrew Deleva still out front with about a body length lead, maybe a body length and a half. Patel about a body length back. 
Holly Burns trying to move herself into fifth up in sixth position in lane six. The Levitt at the turn, the 150, 50 yards left to go. Two laps. Patel in third place. Holly Burns in sixth, up in sixth. Center of the pool, that's the Leva, senior captain. Will be honored tonight and joined by his parents. Last 25, looks like DeLeva's gonna bring it in. He's gone wire to wire. She's got a two body length lead. Shailen Patel trying to push and catch and being chased in lane one by Westwood. Patel trying to hang on to third position. Won't have enough weight to move himself into second. Although good strong finish, nice drive at the end there. Holly Burns trying to move herself in the fifth. She's kicking hard. Up top, five yards left to go. She's just going to run out of pool and won't be able to catch her. So Holly Burns takes sixth. Quick note while we're getting ready for the 2IM. Kayla McCann, a senior and captain of the Hopkinton High School and swim and dive team. She is uh, honoring Brad Canty and his family by fundraising for the Canty's Underdog Scholarship Foundation and participate in the running of the Boston Marathon in April of 2020. So if you want to assist and help Kayla McCann, senior captain out, uh, you can go to her GoFundMe page. Just look under the Brad Canty Underdog Scholarship Fund and look for Kayla McCann. She's running the marathon this year. Good for Kayla. Kayla is senior captain as well. So Hopkinton's going to honor its seniors tonight. There are eight of them on the boys' side, Fletch Clark, Andrew DeLeva, Alex Matsukis, and Ritesh Rajanigan on the girls' side, Mary Lauren Burke, Allison Fu, Kate Legassi, and Kayla McCann. This will be the last of the Legassis passing through after 10 years in and out of the program. Kate Legassi, the last one of the Legassis. This will be my final broadcast. I've enjoyed doing this. Ready to turn it over to John Belger. He's going to take over for years to come, we hope. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 2IM. Hopkinton is going to put out in the 2IM in lane two, Kevin Cavanaugh, lane four, Aditya Duda, and up top in lane six, that's Kate Gassi. Not known for her IM. This will be kind of interesting to see Kate swim. Freshman Kevin Cavanaugh along with junior Aditya Duda. Eight laps of the pool, two of each stroke, butterfly, backstroke, breast and free. As they're out in the initial fly leg. <coughs> Hopkinton, early lead by Kavanaugh in lane two. <coughs> Followed by the turn up top with Duda. And Kate Legassi turning in fifth position. Kavanaugh strong in the fly and Duda staying right with them as they are one, two. Strong finish here by Duda as he goes into the backstroke. All the turns, nice showing up top by Legassi as she turns in fifth. See what the backstroke holds for these swimmers. One, two right now, lanes two and four. Kavanaugh and Duda, Duda in lane four. Kavanaugh in lane two, they're neck and neck. They're gonna take this turn. Legassi trying to move herself into fourth position with the backstroke. <laughs> Me. It's cold and flu seasons right now, and we are not, not immune to it. Duda, Kavanaugh, Kate Legassi up top trying to move herself into third position. She better because her breaststroke is not as strong as her backstroke in her fly. Let's see what this looks like. Breaststroke, Duda, Kavanaugh, neck and neck. Legassi, nice pull out up top in lane six. Kate Legassi currently sitting in fourth position and up in lane six. Duda takes a turn first, followed by Kavanaugh. Westwood pressing a little bit up in lane five. Kate Legassi holding on to lane to fourth position, although she's being challenged by lanes one and two. She's going to have to hold on and try to turn it to freestyle. That's Duda. Duda right now has opened up a lead on Kavanaugh. Nice swim right now going by DJ Good as he turns into his last 50 for a freestyle. Kavanaugh lane two. He's getting ready to take the turn. Legassi hanging tough there in fourth position on the breaststroke. Let's see what she can do. 
See what she's got left in the freestyles. They turn together. Duda with his final turn. He's got 25 left to go. He will win this easily. The race here looks like it's going to be for third position, second or, or actually fourth position, as Westwood in the fifth lane has moved herself into third position. Coming in is Cavanaugh. That's in lane two. Being challenged a little bit by Westwood. Legassi's got a nice kick going up there. She's opened up a lead in fourth position, try, or third, fifth position. Fourth position, trying to challenge for third. She won't catch up. Cavanaugh touches in second. Hopkinson goes one, two. Legassi, she's going to nail herself a fourth position. Nice swim by Kate Legassi there. If I sound surprised, I am. Good swim in the center there by Aditya Duda. Another nice swim by Kevin Cavanaugh. Good swim also by Kate Legassi. Hopkinton goes one, two, and four. And we come to the quickest event of our uh, meet tonight, which is a 50 freestyle. So if you're sitting around and watching this at home, this is not a time to go get a snack. This is going to be over in about 23 seconds. 53, this is all about the start and the turn. Hopkinton in the first heat, there will be three. Hopkinton and lane two is putting out Mary Lauren Burke. Center of the pool, Tyler Fallon. And up top, that's going to be a list of Fish Fisher. Mary Lauren Burke, Tyler Fallon. Mary Lauren Burke, one of our seniors as well, being honored tonight. as well as uh, Tyler Fallon, he's a sophomore. <coughs> and Alyssa Fisher, junior. Kind of an interesting race for the fish. She's yet generally a long distance at 200 or 500. Coach is moving this around a little bit, putting her in the 50. We're gonna see if we can get a clock on this, if I can do this at the same time. Sometimes it's hard doing a couple things at the same time, but we'll see what we can do. A little bit of a break while they're talking about the scoring down there. Maybe what we can do, Eve, is pan across and take a look at some of those posters. Fatheads over there of all the seniors. The seniors aren't fatheads, but they have pictures of themselves up there, so they are called fatheads of all the seniors. That uh, This is their last regular season meet. Some of these, I think all of these have been uh, four-year swimmers. The seniors, as we've said before, have gone through three coaches, started Freshman year with Coach Brian King. He turned it over to Jeff Libby. Jeff Libby, head coach for two years, and then he decided he was going to step into the assistant's role this year, and he's been helping out first-year head coach Kristen Weber, who's propelled these Hopkinton swimmers to a fine season thus far. Eight and two, like I said, on the season. Four, four, uh, five and one right now in the TVL. And we ready for the start of the 50 freestyle. Burke, Fallon, and Fisher. Three heats. Clean start. Nice start in the center of the pool by Tyler Fallon. Westwood out to a lead. Fallon's got some work to do, as does Mary Lauren Burke and Alyssa Fisher. Westwood turns first. Fallon charging, challenging in the center of the pool. It's going to be a race for first. Fisher pulling up also in lane two and up top. Oh, close, close race. Hopkinton across the board. Great swims by Mary Lauren Burke, Alyssa Fisher. I had no idea what the time was. I was watching the race a little too closely. Not sure that was too close to call. <coughs> nice swim <coughs> by Tyler Fallon. In the center of the pool, Westwood also a really nice swim in lane three. So it was lane three, four. Then it looked like it was Mary Lauren Burke in lane two. And up top, Fisher. Hopkinton showing well. They're going to put three more out for heat number two. That's Mia Carboni, Kevin Gu, and Aya Baba. <coughs> Close race. We will find out what the, what the scoring is at some point. But a nice swim there in the center of the pool by Tyler Fallon. Westwood swimmer had a very nice start, had about a half a body length lead at the beginning of the race. Fallon battled back, got himself into it. It was a photo finish at the end. Had we been sitting in our other spot, we might have been able to see just a little bit better. We were right on the finish line, but 
center of the pool, it's a little harder to see in the finishes. So a lot of nice posters across, <coughs> across the pool. Got our first bit of snow, as we talked about that at Saturday's meet. A nice win over uh, Norwood. So the Wolverines of Westwood come in tonight. Again, they are a place behind Hopkinton in the TVL, sitting at four and two. Hopkinton tied right now for second at five and one. And this will wrap up their season. It seems like it's gone pretty quickly this year. So we wait for the referees and judges to get themselves pulled together for the next race. It's always as quick. It starts out, it seems like it's going to move a little slow, and the season always moves very quickly. Hopkinton's, this is their 11th meet of the season. We've been able to broadcast several. Really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's hard not having a second voice right now. We don't have the equipment for two headsets running. So Eve, who's been helping out the announcing for the last couple of meets and has done a nice job, she's going to jump off the camera when the diving comes, and she's going to have her first solo with the diving tonight. It's looking forward to it. <coughs> we get ready for heat number two. Carboni, Gu, and Ayababa. Mia Carboni, Kevin Gu, out to a center start. It's a quick start in the center of the pool. That's Carboni, Kevin Gu, or uh, Kevin Gu rather, in lane two. It's Carboni and up top Ayababa. Gu with a lead, body length. Carboni battling for second. Westwood slightly ahead and up top. Ayababa. Goo's going to easily glide into a first position. Westwood, then Hopkinton. And then Ayababa up top. Coming in sixth position. Again, we ran a clock but failed to look down. Heat number three is going to see Leontina Kepik. Harani Thadagutla and Shatrali Samant. Big team this year as after the 53, we'll take a quick break and get ourselves ready for the diving. And then I'm not sure if we do senior night after that. We'll sort of figure that out. So for the diving, John Belger is going to jump up on the camera. Or actually, maybe we just put Tess up on the camera and have her announced. We'll see if John wants to jump in on the camera. That'd be great. I'll take a break. Get a little bit of a break from hearing my voice the whole time. Heat number three, Leo Kepik, Harani Fatakutla, and Shatrali Samant. Closest to us, Leontina Kepik. Westwood out to a quick start. Kepik challenging. Fadigutla in the center of the pool and Samant up top as they turn together. Westwood in the lead, followed closely by Kepik and then Fadigutla. Kepik challenging. Leontina Kepik challenging. She's swimming hard. And it's going to be, it looks like it might have been Kepik and Fadigutla and up top. That is Chitrali Samant. Nice swims by all three swimmers. And what we'll do here, they're going to take and start to take the lean markers out, take a quick break. So we'll be back in a minute here. Hopkinton, Westwood, co ed swimming, last meet of the season for Hopkinton senior night. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes for the diving. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. Okay, we're on. We are back at the Hopkinton and Westwood we meet. I'm Eve Weatherhead. I'm going to be taking over for the diving. 
Tess is going to com be competing first. She does her hoppy hurdle. And that was a front one and a half pike. Good entry. She got a seven and a half, seven and a half, and eight. Juliana Lucas is next. A 103C, a front one and a half tuck, a pike, my bad. That was a good entry, very high up. Six and a half, seven, and seven. A 104B, which is a front double pike. She does her hobby hurdle. Pretty good. She came out just a little bit early, but managed to save it at the end there. She got a seven and a half, and an eight, and a seven and a half. Now we have no senior divers. Tess Weatherhead is a sophomore. Juliana Lucas is a junior. And Nick Capellos, who is sadly mono, is a junior. That was a front double tuck. Six and a half, bingo. That was a front two and a half tuck. She came out a little bit early. She got a seven, seven, and a seven and a half. She's competing a and we're one and a half tuck. Good stand up and a very good entry. She got a seven, seven and a half, and a seven. This is also doing a inner one and a half tuck. Very good entry and good up as well. She was a little bit out, but she got an eight, a seven, and an eight. Inwards are especially hard because you're going in towards the board, and one and a half are kind of hard to get around, but both of them did very well with that. Juliana did a front flip full twist. Six, seven, six and a half. Today, front one and a half full twist. Good entry and good up. Seven and a half, bingo.
Now, I don't believe there is a um, section of diving this week in what position they're doing, but that was a reverse dive pike. She was a little bit out early, which made her go over. She got a six and a half, six and a half, and a six. Reverse one and a half tuck. High up, but she came out a little bit late, a little bit over. She got a six and a half, seven, and a seven. A back one and a half tuck. Very good up. She came out a little bit early, but managed to get into the duck very early. She got a seven across. And that is it. We're going to take another break here before they transition into the seniors. I'm Eve Weatherhead. Thank you. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. And Kelly. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be Camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Cam TV. And I love H Cam TV. And I love H Cam TV. We love H Cam TV. Woo! Hello, everybody. This is John Belger. Um, again, uh, we're broadcasting from um, January 20th, the Senior Night Celebration, Hopkinton Varsity Swim versus Westwood. Uh, the the kids are um, gathering together in a certain fashion that they traditionally do do um, lining up on the far side of the uh, pool and um, in a certain order the, um, the, s the seniors will process through a gauntlet I would call it um, and then move from through that gauntlet through the back of the corner here, and then I'm pretty sure meet up with their parents. Uh, the senior parents are starting to go down. Uh, Kevin Lagasse is sitting in front of me and he is making his move towards the pool deck. Um, so what we'll do is I'll just, um, I know some people might want to be watching this and I'm sure they, they'd like to have fun with it. And you see uh, at the far side of the pool, the seniors just uh, gathering over there and um, on the end of the pool there um, just see if I can get a little closer panning in um, over there and then as you move this way they go to the gauntlet and then from the gauntlet we'll have some shots um, of the, the seniors meeting up with their parents. We'll be back in a minute as this starts up. Looking forward to talking to you. Bye. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? 
Well, everybody should have it, to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. Okay, this is John again. We're back and I'm um, trying to come down here and we can see some of the senior parents um, getting together on the side of the deck over here. Um, I see the Fu family. I see um, the Burks, the Lagasses coming down. I get the exciting part. Everybody else gets the swimming. I get the senior night. And you'll see they're, they're in a certain order. And so um, I'm guessing they're in a certain order, but um, it can be a little bit free form. Uh, let's just see. I can't hear the PA announcer, um, but I do am able to see the kids out there, so. Just keep panning around. You see the parents over here. See Jim Burke there. And they are getting in a certain order. So it looks like the first senior that will be coming through He's getting ready. I'll pan in here quickly. Oh, it's Mary Lauren. Mary Lauren's had a great year so far. Um, looking forward to seeing her do some damage in the um, next, in a couple of weeks. I think she might have qualified for, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm assuming she's gonna qualify for the postseason. I'm pretty sure she already has. Um, so she'll be walking this way. I'll try and follow on with her as she walks and uh, get some footage here. It's uh, for a lot of the seniors, it's obviously their fourth year on the team. I'm, I know for a fact it's um, Mary Lawrence's fourth year. Oh, it looks like to me most of the seniors, or all the seniors actually I see here, have pretty much been on the team for four years. Um, As I look down here, you see the parents and the families lining up. And obviously, you know, swimming is a sport that requires a lot of parental commitment. For most of these kids, they've been in the rec leagues. Um, some of them may be going on to swimming in, the po in college, but um, at least minimally, probably on a club team. Um, You see, uh, just like I said, panning around. You see Sterling Morell back there taking photos. Jim Brainerd. I'm not sure what the holdup is. Maybe they're waiting for the satellite uplink. I always feel like the senior nights are a great time for the, uh, the kids, obviously, and the parents to reflect on you know, the individual growth of the, the competitors throughout their four-year career. I know I, had an old, I have a, an older daughter who you know, seemed like she went from 
you know, just a little kid in ninth grade and um, turned out her career was actually very, you know, and most of her friends come out of the, the swim team. We're waiting for the PA announcer, I guess. I'm going to go back over here to the... Right now, the Westwood team is doing, I guess, they're, they're going to be giving uh, flowers or whatever to um, the seniors on Hopkinton's team. To be fair, I'm not 100% certain what, what exactly is happening here. <laughs> but um, that seems to be what um, what's happening here. Very nice gesture on the part of the... Um, or it's their senior night too, you know, so what typically has been happening is, um, and it happens around the league, when the, high sc when this, the home team has the senior night, uh, there, there's also a little recognition of some of the seniors from the uh, visiting team, which is a very nice thing. Yeah, Hopkinton typically has a, a very good sense of um, sportsmanship, so that was actually very nice. Here we go. Where we're getting up to right now. Mary Lauren is the first one through. The cheers go out. She's running the gauntlet. Big high five from Jim Brainerd back here. Nice big hug from there from her mom and dad. Back over here with Andrew DeLeva is coming up now. I'm pretty sure. No, actually, I'm not sure about that. Oh. This is Hritesh. Okay, so now here we go. Andrew DeLeva is coming through. And you see they're greeted, all the swimmers are greeted by their parents over here. Andrew. This is Allison Fu, I think. Yeah, Allison Fu is coming through. You probably can hear the... Uh, the announcer on the background there, but. That's, uh, that's Kate Lagasse coming up. My compadre, Kevin, is there to greet his daughter. The Lagasse family is finally graduating from swimming. There is, uh, sorry guys, I don't have all the, the names here. This is uh, Alex Matsukas, I guess. Uh, to, be f to be fair, I, I wish I had somebody here with me that could tell who it is. Uh, for the people that are watching, they can see what's happening. Typically what's happening is the families of the seniors go up by the diving board. I'll try and get a couple of those shots in here. That's Andrew DeLeva.
This is Allison Fu. There's potentially another swimmer in that crowd. This is Kayla McCann. This is a shot, I think, of all the seniors, which is going to be a nice picture out there. And uh, I think it was pointed out earlier, um, there's a lot of, um, up, up here you'll see a lot of um, posters put together by the um, underclassmen, uh, organized really by the juniors. Um, it's always a tradition at Hopkinton, uh, well-deserved um, honoring the seniors who just have a few more weeks, um, I think three or four more weeks of swimming uh, between the state tournament, uh, the state meet, and, um, and the uh, TVLs. So that concludes the senior night uh, videoing. Uh, we will come back in a, in a little bit for the continuation of the meet. Um, thanks, everybody, and we'll be right back. Have you ever considered texting and driving? If so, you should know the consequences. If caught texting and driving for the first time, you could get an $100 fine plus your license taken away for 60 days. The consequences only get worse the more you get caught. Even if you don't get caught, there could be serious effects. You could get into a car accident and hurt yourself or someone else. Texting and driving is a very dangerous combination, so stop before this happens to you. And we're back after senior night, thanks to John Belger, who took over for the seniors and also is on the camera now. And thanks again to Eve Weatherhead, who took over and did our diving for us. Eve's been a great addition this year. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 100 fly now that the diving is completed. We've got two heats. We'll get to the names just after the start here. Lane two, that's Aditya Ditta, center of the pool. That's Tyler Holbrow, and up top, that is Sophia Luce. Out to an early lead, Ditta, Holbrow, Luce holding in there as well. Hopkinton, one, two, three, across the pool at the first turn. Nice pull out by Holbrow in the center of the pool. Slight lead over Ditta, Sophia Luce. Nice swim up top in lane six. Really good looking fly up there with Sophia Luce, Duda, and Holbrow. Hopkinton, one, two, three, across the pool as Holbrow turns for his last 50. Good looking swim out there by Tyler Holbrow. Hopkinton, one, two, three, ahead of Westwood. Nice swim up top by Sophia Luce, hanging in with the boys. Good looking swim up there. Center of the pool, that's Tyler Holbrow. Dietje Duda giving chase. Sophia Luce turns. She's in third position as well. Coming in, Holbrow. He's going to take it wire to wire. Holbrow with the win. Duda second. Sophia Luce, phenomenal swim up top there. Great looking fly. She's going to take third. Hopkinton sweeps. 
the 100 fly. Westwood swimmers coming in. They've got three in the pool. One finished. Two more lanes three and lane one. So we'll see if we can get watches back on this, get some unofficial times. Hopkinton looks good tonight. Westwood comes in, one place behind him with a 4-2 and two record in the TVL. Hopkinton 5-1, and one, sits in seventh place with Dover, in second place rather with Dover Sherborne with their only lost 5-1 and one coming against Ashland in the TVL. We said earlier, Ashland, good looking team this year. Although when it comes down to the TVL championship, that's when Hopkinton's depth is really going to work in their favor as you look across. Westwood's got a big team and that's going to help them as well. A lot of swimmers out there, a lot of times to be put down, a lot of heats. It's a big meet. It comes up on February 2nd, Sunday morning, prior to Super Bowl Sunday. We're going to get ready for heat number two of the 100 fly. In lane two, Declan Hanscom, Ritesh Rajanigan, and Yaming Fang. So Hopkinton's going to run a second heat here. Let's run a clock on the Hopkinton Hillers. Hillers out in the center of the pool. Ritesh Rajanigan close to us. Declan Hanscom and up top, Yaming Fang. They're all going for times, trying to qualify. Nice looking start out there by Ritesh Rajanigan. Ritesh, one of the seniors, also honored tonight with his father and mother, Raj and Mariana. Raj also joins us on the broadcast, usually up top on the camera. But he's not with us tonight. He's enjoying senior night off. I don't blame him. Ritesh with a turn at around a 30 point closest to us. Declan Hanscom and up top, that's Yiming Fang. All hillers here in lanes two, four, and six. Rajanigan with his last turn. He comes in at his last 25. Let's see if we can get a time on him. Next to turn, Declan Hanscom. And up top, Yiming Fang. Coming in, Rajanigan at a 103. Hanscom coming in, he touches. 106, actually 109. And up top, Yiming Fang. She will come in third at a 121. So nice swims all around by the Hopkinton swimmers. Good swim in the center of the pool there by Ritesh Rajanigan. Now we come to the sprint free after the 50 we've done already. We've got the 100. Hopkinton's going to put out Blake Briner, who did a nice job announcing there in senior night. Congrats to Blake. Center of the pool, Aiden McDonald, and up top, that's going to be Leah Patrick in lane six. Hillers are going to run two heats here. Pierce Farrell, Wyatt Ruff, and Connor Willitson will see the second heat as we get some times as we head into the first heat of the 100 freestyle. We did get a clock on this one. Hopkinton puts out Briner, McDonald, Patrick. Center of the pool, McDonald, followed closely by Briner. Up top, that's Leah Patrick, first turn. Briner in the center of the pool, Blake Briner with a good swim going. Or uh, Aiden McDonald, rather, and close to stuff besides Blake Briner. Aiden McDonald opening up a lead, half a body length, length. 25 at the first turn. McDonald followed closely by. Blake Briner and up top, Leah Patrick. McDonald, good swim, stretching it out a little bit. Final turn. Briner looks like he's going to go wire to wire. He's got 12, 15 yards left. Brian what, McDonald fired by Briner. McDonald, 54. Briner, 56. First, second, and up top, fighting for fifth position. Leah Patrick comes in at a 105.26. Nice swim by Leah Patrick up top. So 54.15 unofficially, a 56.85, and a 105.26. Nice swims. They swim down and relax. 1-2 for Hopkinton as they've 
started to open up kind of a commanding lead against Westwood here. Help with the diving. Westwood, we thought. I thought I saw a couple of divers warming up, but they did not. So Hopkinton sweeps the diving as well. Hopkinton started off the meet well tonight with a sweep. One, two, and three, I think, in the, uh, or at least one, two, in the first relay started out, set the tone from the get-go here at Senior Night. Now we're going to get ourselves ready for the next heat of the 100 freestyle. Pierce Farrell, Wyatt Ruff, and Connor Willardson. Get a watch on this as well. Wyatt Ruff, center of the pool. Pierce Farrell, rough out to a quick start in the center of the pool up top. Connor Willardson, Pierce Farrell, lean two. Four, six, two, turn, cross. It's all Hopkinton being challenged by Westwood right now in lane three. Up top, center of the pool, Wyatt Ruff, freshman swimmer. Up top, that's Connor Willardson, also a freshman, holding on the second one, two right now. Pierce Farrell in third, fourth position, challenging. Westwood in lane two as being challenged right now by Pierce Farrell. Wyatt Ruff's going to take the turn. Looks like he's going to go wire to wire. Center of the pool, Wyatt Ruff. Freshman swimmer. Nice looking 100 freestyle going on. Up top, Connor Willitson. He's trying to hang on to second, be impressed by Westwood in lean three. Center of the pool, 58 20. Up top, Willitson. And with the final, Pierce Farrell. So wire to wire, Wyatt Ruff. Nice swim, the 58-20, a 1 0 73 unofficial for uh, Connor Willitson, and a 104 high from Pierce Farrell rounding out that, that group. As we get ready for the 500 freestyle, 20 laps, a grueling race. Deirdre Belger, Ryan DeLeva, Kayla McCann are going to see the 500. So as we said, Hopkins can kind of set the tone tonight on senior night, right out of the get-go. Sweep in the first couple of races, giving Westwood a run for the money. Five free, 20 laps. Try to get a watch on this as well. So Belger, DeLeva, Ryan DeLeva, and Kayla McCann. Andrew DeLeva generally swims this. Turn it over tonight to Ryan DeLeva. Westwood out to a quick start in lean three. Six of them turn across. Westwood out to an early start, lean three. She looks strong. She's got a body length lead already over the Hopkinton swimmers. Closest to us in lean two, Deidre Belger. Lean four. Ryan DeLevin up top is Kayla McCann. DeLevin and McCann turn together. Belger in lane two. She's challenging for fifth position. It's a long race. A lot can happen. We're going to see positions change during the course of the race. Westwood out to a quick start. We'll see if she started fast. I see the Hopkinton swimmers catch up. Right now for Hopkinton, that's Ryan DeLevin in lane four. Currently sitting in third position up top. Kayla McCann in fourth. Deidre Belger in fifth in lean two. Getting encouraged by her teammates on the side. Hopkinton lines up on the far side, about 40 strong. Taleva challenging for second position. He's in lean four. Westwood right now, she's out to an early lead. She turns lap number five. It's 20 laps, it's hard to keep track of, so these kids all have counters at the other end. Ruling race. Nice night tonight, good turnout for senior night. A lot of people in the stands, a lot of Westwood fans as well, as the seniors from Westwood were honored as well. Hopkinton showing sportsmanship, honoring their seniors. Westwood won two right now. That's DeLeva sitting in third position. McCann in fourth. Belger tied for fifth. So DeLeva, Ryan, sophomore swimmer. He's right there hanging in third position. And up top, Kayla McCann. Senior captain Deidre Belger, closest to us in lane two. 
sometimes the strategies for some of these kids are pick up the pace on one lap, on the odd laps, and stretch and not coast, but stretch and stretch out the stroke on the even laps or vice versa. So sometimes you'll see lead changes depending on if the kids are in a sprint mode or coast mode. Westwood right now one and two leans three and five. The Leva for Hopkinton. He's in lane four, sitting currently in second position. And up top, Kayla McCann. She's in lane six. Fourth position, Belger. She's hanging on to fifth. Close race for fifth place right now between Belger and Westwood in lanes one and two. A lot of school spirit tonight. Hopkinton Hillers. A lot of nice posters on the far end of the pool. A lot of pictures. It's a good group of captains, good group of seniors that are going to be leaving. Although Hopkinton only graduates eight this year, so they are buoyed by a large sophomore class. Junior class will graduate. Actually, nine of them will move into the senior season next year. Race still holding the same right now. Westwood flips first. Westwood flips second. Deleva, he's sitting in third. Clearly in third. And up top, McCann, she's in fourth. Belger opening up a half a body length lead in lane two. She's in fifth. So Hopkinton looking right now at three, four, five. Westwood, this will be the first event that they've taken one, two in. Delevis flips lap number 13. McCann's going to flip at 13. And Belger heads towards the other end of the pool. She'll flip 13 pretty soon. Westwood swimmers look strong right now for 500 free. Westwood sits one and two. Deleva flips. Takes a moment to adjust his suit. Pick up those subtleties when you sit up here a little bit. McCann, she flipped. She's still in fourth position. Hopkinton right now, three, four, and five. Belger starting to open up a lead in lane two. She's in fifth position. She's neck and neck early on in the race with Westwood. She's starting to open up a double body length lead. Looks strong here in lane two. She opens up. Westwood still 1-2. Deleva's starting to give chase, trying to see if he can catch the swimmer in lane five. Still a long ways to go. We've got three laps, so with 75 left to go, let's see if he's got a little kick left in him. Doing his best right now. Westwood right now takes the gun lap, or the bell lap. She's going to flip. She's got 50 left to go. Deleva giving chase to the woman in lane five. Right now, Hopkinton still sits in three, four, and five. Belgers open up a nice lead for fifth position in lane two. As a final turn here in lane three, Westwood. Deleva giving chase. I'm not sure he's going to have enough juice left to catch lane five. She looks pretty strong. So it looks like Westwood's going to go one, two. They go wire to wire in the center of the pool. Unofficially coming in at six, oh. Four. Deleva's going to be the first one to touch as he's coming down. He's got 10, la 10 yards left to go. Deleva, he's coming in unofficially at 6.20. Up top, Kayla McCann. Deidre Belger, she's opened up. She'll clearly take as she finishes her last two laps. McCann flips for her final turn. Belger, fifth position as well. She takes her final turn. Nice little flurry and kick here at the end. McCann kicking it home. She's got five yards left to go up top in lane six. She's coming in at a six. 51. These are all unofficial. Belger with a nice sprint towards the end, clearly putting herself in the fifth position in lane two. She's going to be just over seven minutes. Belger. 
7.03. Again, all unofficial, but just thereabouts. Westwood's final swimmer coming into the end here. That's going to conclude the 500. The rest of the meet's going to move pretty quickly as we go in the two free relay. We'll have two heats of that. We'll get the 100 back, two heats of that. 100 breaststroke, two heats, and also then the four free relay. Look forward to the four free relay as Coach has got some fun teams set up. We'll announce those in a little while. It'll be a little teaser, though. He's got a couple of uh, interesting matchups when she put together the lineup for the four free relays. The two free relay, we're going to see the relay in lean two of Cassie White, Leah Patrick, Alyssa Fisher, Mary Lauren Burke. So that's an all-female. They're going to be going for times. Center of the pool, we've got Matsukas, Duda, Fallon, and McDonald. They're also going to be looking to put a time down. So they will not be, uh, they will not be scoring as these need to be co-ed. So they're going for time. If we'll get some watches and see if we get some cuts here. And then up top, we're going to have Sophia Luce, Holly Burns, Shailen Patel, and Sean Haley. As we said, basically we've got in the center of the pool, Matsuka stood a foul and McDonald going for a time here, looking for sectional cuts. Same thing, Cassie White, Leah Patrick, Alyssa Fisher, Mary Lauren Burke, also looking for cuts and times. Two free relay, each swimmer swimming 50. In the water right now, Matsukas, Cassie White, and up top, Sophia Luce. Matsukas, nice swimming right now. He's gonna turn it over to Aditya Duda. Duda in the water. Seven lane two, Patrick going in after Cassie White. And up top, Holly Burns. Westwood challenging in lane three. Hopkinton, Duda takes the turn. Hopkinton in the center of the pool. Nice swim by the Westwood swimmer here in lane three. He looks strong. Good looking swim, he's close some ground. That's Duda turning over to Tyler Fallon. Clean start, Westwood lean two. Nice start there by Alyssa Fisher, right off the block early. She got a good start. And up top, that's Shailen Patel. He's turned it over from Holly Burns. Center of the pool, Tyler Fallon. He's going to turn it over to Aiden McDonald. Anchor leg. McDonald into the water. He's going to anchor the boys relay in the center. Westwood into the water with her next swimmer. And that is... Mary Lauren Burke, she's going to anchor the girls. Up top, Shailen Patel turning it over to Sean Haley. Coming in, we'll see if we can get a, a watch on this on the boys' side. McDonald, Aiden McDonald, sprinting to the end. McDonald touches at a 139.87. Nice swim there. The girls coming in, putting their head down. That's Mary Lauren Burke, no breath. 150. And officially, Hopkinton up top with a 154.37. So the boys come in with a 139.87. We'll take a quick look and see qualifying times, see how the boys did. That was a, I thought we had the qualifying time somewhere. Let's see if we can find them here. There we go. Boys 200 free. Two free relay. That will be a boys state division two. That's a 154 30 or 139. Oh, they're clearly there. The two free uh, two. I'm sorry. Let's look at the relay here. A 141. Boys at a 139. So that is a state qualifying relay. Nice swim by the boys as they qualify for the states. We're going to have a heat number two. The girls, I did not check and see. Let me see if, uh, let me see what the girls' qualifying time was. Please hold. The girls qualifying to free relay, they were looking for a 149. Uh, they were pretty close, if I recall. So, three more heats or three more relays out. <clears throat> Ayababa, Fletcher Clark, and Leo Kepik. Leontina Kepik. So in lane number two, that's going to be Baba, Farrell, Willitson, Kavanaugh. Lane four, Clark, DeLeva, Legassi, and McCann. And up top, Kepik, McCarthy, Thadagutla, and Samant. Out to an early lead in the center of the pool. That's Fletch the catch. Senior Fletcher Clark. 
Wow, big lead for Fletcher Clark in the center of the pool. He's got to turn it over to Andrew DeLeva. And a nice senior team he's got here with Legassi and McCann, and they're all senior team. And it's Ayababa, Connor Willitson, Pierce Farrell, and Kavanaugh. So center of the pool, DeLeva. Lane two, taking the turn, that is Pierce Farrell. DeLeva, he's going to turn it over to Kate Legassi. Nice start, clean start by Legassi in lane two and lane six. That's Maggie McCarthy. She's going to turn it over to Thada Gutla. In the water now in lane two, Connor Willitson. Up top, that's Thada Gutla. Harini. Thada Gutla in lane six. Coming in in the center of the pool, Kate Legassi. She's going to turn it over to senior captain Kayla McCann as this senior team opens up a nice a nice stretch here. Last one in, McCann, lane two. That's Kevin Cavanaugh heading in the pool. And up top, that is Chitrelli Samant. So coach has got, looks like an all freshman. And let's see, there's an all senior as they come in for a finish. Nice finish by McCann. And then lean two, that's Kavanaugh. So Kavanaugh, Farrell, Willitson, and Baba. The scoring relay. And then the all senior relay does a nice job. And then up top, finishing up, that's Chitrali Samant. Nice swims all around as we head to the 100 backstroke. So that's a little bit of preview that what we're going to see in the four free relay. In the four free relay, we have the all freshman, all senior, and all junior relays. So we teased that out a little while ago. That's something to look forward to when we get to the four free relay. The seniors will be in the center of the pool. The freshmen will be in lane six. And the juniors were going to be in lane two. That's for bragging rights. A little bit of fun here for the last meet of the season. We get ready for the 100 back in lane two. That's going to be Blake Reiner. In the center of the pool, we're Tesh Rajan again. And then Yaming Fang will be up top in lane six. There will be two heats of the 100 back. There will also be two heats of the 100 brush stroke. As we had said earlier, too, senior captain Kayla McCann, she'll be running the Boston Marathon to benefit the, the Canty Underdog Scholarship Fund. Look for her on her GoFundMe page. If you want to contribute, that'd be good. Heat number one, Hunter Backstroke. Reiner in lane two, Rajan again lane four, Yuming Fang up in lane six. Out to a quick start. Reiner, he's popped up and swimming. Lane two, that's Briner. Ritesh Rajan again up top. Lane four, and in lane six, taking a turn. Yiming Fang. Briner holding on to a slight lead in lane two. Westwood challenging. Also center of the pool, Ritesh Rajan again. So Hopkinton, one, two. First to turn, Briner glides. Rajan again behind him. And. Yiming Fang, she's trying to put herself in the sixth position. Briner opening it up. Between challenged in lane four is Ritesh Rajanigan. Briner, he's going to flip with the lead for the last one more. 25 left to go. That's Briner in lane two. Being challenged. But it's Briner, Rajanigan. Right now, one, two. Hopkinton, one, two. Briner pushing. Rajanigan with the push at the end here. Touch almost together. Hopkinton goes one, two. Westwood's going to go three, four, five. Yaming Fang up in lane six. She will take six place. I definitely want to get a watch on the 100 breaststroke. We haven't gotten a time on Alex Matsukas yet this year. I'd like to get a time on him. He looks like he's been swimming well this year. We'll have one more heat of the 100 backstroke. We've got Ishta Karana, Ishi as they call her, Ishta Karana, Sean Haley, and Gabe O'Brien. 
good-looking freshman class. We've seen a lot of them this year. Coach has had good opportunities to put in some of the younger swimmers. Good mentoring by this senior group. Once again, the graduating seniors. Fletcher Clark, out. Andrew DeLeva, Alex Matsukas, and Ritesh Rajanigan on the boys' side. Mary Lauren Burke, Allison Food, Kate Legassi, and Kayla McCann. They're all, if they haven't heard from colleges yet, waiting to hear, heading off to college. Not sure if anybody's swimming in college. But we'll find out. A week ago we had 70 degree weather and yesterday we're all shoveling snow. So welcome to New England. I was looking out the window earlier today in the sunlight outside the Keith Tech window at the far end of the pool. We had snow on the ground. 100 backstroke, Keith number two. Mr. Karan in lean two, Sean Haley in lean four, Gabe O'Brien up in lean six. Out to an early lead, that's Sean Haley in the center of the pool. As they flip six across here for the first 25. Westwood hanging in there. Six swimmers pretty much right across the pool. This is anybody's race. Slight lead in the center of the pool, Sean Haley. It's the Quran and lean two, just giving chase. And up top, that's Gabe O'Brien. Five swimmers across right now, anybody's race. Haley's first to turn, Karana, Gabe O'Brien. Hopkinton, three across here. Westwood sitting right now in second and third, third and fourth. Haley still holding on to first position. Gabe O'Brien up top, falling back a little bit as he's currently in fifth position. On the final turn, 25 left to go. Haley's coming in, trying to go wire to wire. Sean Haley, center of the pool. Gabe O'Brien up top. Mr. Karana, she's in a battle for second place. Haley's going to take this wire to wire. Sean Haley with a nice swim. Mr. Karana's got a final push. She gets second. Westwood third, fourth, and a push up top. Just a little too late there by Gabe O'Brien. Trying to get himself in the fourth position. He'll take fifth. Westwood finishes. That's going to bring us to the 100 breaststroke, and we're down to the final two events of this 2019-2020 Hillers season. Goes by quick. Hopkinton 8 and 2 coming into this, 5 and 1 in the TVL with some great meets along the way this year, some good swims. So they will gear up for the TVL championship meet. That's going to be February 2nd. And the following weekend we will have the sectionals and then the following week after that we will have states. So these kids are all getting ready and getting geared up for the postseason. They look like they're going to sit nicely and finish at least tied for second in the TVL, if not second, because they won the head-to-head -head with Dover Sherborne. I'm not sure if they've swam Ashland yet. So Hopkinton right now tied for second at 5-1 and one with Dover Sherborne. Ashland sits atop the TVL at 4-0. and oh. So a few meets left to go. Going to see if we can get a watch on this. Try to get ourselves a time for Alex Matsukis in the center of the pool, Allison Fu and Kevin Gu. Watch is off. That's good. Matsukis, center of the pool. Big pull out. He's going to be challenged in lane one by Westwood, who also had a good start. So he's going to get some competition in lane one. Matsukis, center of the pool. Up top, that's Gu. In lane two, that's Fu. Matsukis right now with a body length lead being challenged in lane one by Westwood. Fu in lane two holds on to third. Fu right now, he's being chased. He's in fourth position. At the turn at the 50, Matsukis, he's going wire to wire, it looks like. Westwood in lane one being challenged by Fu. Gu turns, he's in fourth. Fu clearly right now trying to chase down, see if she can catch. A swimmer in lane two from Westwood. Matsukis is going to go wire to wire. We're going to get a uh, watch on him. Fu takes a turn, challenging for second right now. Let's see what she's got left. She's got a good swim going in lane two. 
Matsukis coming in. He's going to finish. 106-28. Nice swim by Matsukis. Fu giving chase. Gu right now trying to get himself back in the fourth position. Fu comes in at a 118. And up top, Kevin Gu. He's going to take fifth position with a 123.95. Hopkinton goes 135. So Matsuka, center of the pool, 106.28. Fu with a 118 and change. And Kevin Gu with a 123. All unofficial, of course. We are going to have a second heat in lane two. It's going to be Deidre Belger. In lean four, Fletch the Catch Clark. And up top is Maggie McCarthy. And then we're going to have the four free relay bragging rights for the juniors, freshmen, or the seniors. That's going to be a fun one. A good wrap up here to this 2019-2020 season. A quick shout out to thank all the parents and volunteers, especially those who have worked on the HCAM Comcat, the HCAM um, HCAM broadcast with me. Get this race started here. Belger in lane two, Fletcher Clark and Maggie McCarthy. Westwood puts out three swimmers as well. Quick start, Westwood lane one. That's Belger and Fletch Clark, Maggie McCarthy, three across as they take the turn. Touching first, that's Fletch Clark. Belger Crescent for second. She's chasing down Norwood, or uh, Westwood rather, in lane one. So Fletcher Clark, Deidre Belger, Maggie McCarthy. It's going to be a race for second place here, folks, as Clark opens it up a little bit. Five across as they take the turn. Anybody's race for second. Westwood, Westwood, Hopkinton, Westwood, Hopkinton. Center of the pool, Fletcher Clark, Belger. She's pushing for fourth position right now, trying to get herself back into third. Fletcher Clark, wire to wire. Looks like he's going to take it. It's going to be a race for second, third, Belger. And up top, <clears throat> Melissa McCarthy. Belger, let's see what she's got left. Currently in fourth position, chasing down the swimmer in lane one. Fletcher Clark's going to take this. He's got five yards left to go. Fletcher Clark, center of the pool. Fletch with the win. Belger, Belger's pushing herself up with a late surge here. Belger looks like she can get herself in the third position. Deidre Belger, nice swim. She touches third and up top. Nice swim by Maggie McCarthy. Looks like she took fifth position. Close race all the way around. That looked really good. Nice swims by Hopkinton in heat number two. So I was starting to say, I just want to say thanks to all the parents who devote their time both on the scores table and down behind the lanes, timing, and also to those who have worked on the HCAM broadcasts. Tonight joining me, John Belger on the camera. We had Eve Weatherhead. We've had her several times this year. She had to run out a little bit early, but she did the diving. She was on the camera early. We also had Raj Rajanigan. He's been working with us this year, as well as Vineet Karana. So our thanks to all the folks. This is Kevin Legassi. This will be my final announcing me as Kate Legassi is going to graduate. This will be the retirement ending my 10-year broadcast career. We watched four swimmers come through the program. It's been a pleasure to do these meets. I've had a lot of fun with some folks. A lot of thank yous by the head officials and also to the officials who do this. Thank you to those on the score table, including assistant coach Karen Terry. All right, so this is going to be kind of fun. We've got the uh, junior relay in lane two, the senior relay in lane four, and the freshman relay in lane six. So for the fresh for the freshmen up in lane six, Ishtar Karana, Kevin Cavanaugh, Declan Hanscom, Wyatt Ruff, center of the pool, seniors, Kayla McCann, Kate Legassi, Fletcher Clark, Andrew Jaleva, and the juniors, Cassie White, Mia Carboni, Alyssa Fisher, Tyler Holbrow. Right now it's an early lead by the juniors, Cassie White, 
putting it down, taking it to Caleb McCann, the senior in the center of the pool. Up top, that's Hishka Karana. Cassie White being challenged and challenging Westwood. The juniors jump out to a quick start. Kayla McCann in the center of the pool. That's Cassie White. Kayla McCann, Istra Karana. So right now, juniors with a little bit of bragging rights, but this is a long race. Kayla McCann flipping for her last 25, trailing Cassie White out right now for Hopkinton. Hopkinton trailing right now in the center of the pool. Cassie White's going to turn it over to Mia Carboni. Kayla McCann, she's going to turn it over to Kate Legassi. So the juniors right now with a little bit of a lead. Legassi's into the pool and the freshman up top. Karana turning it over to Kevin Cavanaugh. Westwood's opening up a slight lead in the center of the pool, being chased down right now by Mia Carboni. This is really about the Hopkinton swimmers. We don't really care about Westwood. I shouldn't say that. Say that nicely. This is about the juniors, the seniors, and the freshmen. That's Carboni. She's still got a lead over the seniors, being represented by Kate Legassi in the center of the pool. Carboni, the juniors. Ooh, freshman up top giving chase. That's Kevin Cavanaugh trying to hunt down Legassi in the center of the pool. So the seniors struggling a little bit here. Legassi being chased. She's trying to close a little bit of the gap here. Catching up or trying to catch up to Mia Carboni, but she's being chased in turn by Kevin Cavanaugh. This is going to be some fun here, folks. Westwood looks like they're going to turn it over to their third swimmer, but we're worried more about the Hopkinson swimmers right now. This is juniors, freshmen, and seniors. The junior is going to put their third swimmer in first. That's Alyssa Fisher. Look at that swim by Cavanaugh. He's caught Kate Legassi, so the freshman and the seniors go in together, and that's Fletcher Clark. Fletcher Clark, Declan Hanscom, and Alyssa Fisher. Alyssa Fisher, lane two. Opening it up right now for the juniors. Clark and Hanscom battling it out for the seniors and the freshmen. The freshmen taking a minor lead here. The, the seniors, oof, they're sucking some pool water here. Gonna have to see what they can do. Fletch has been passed by Declan Hanscom. The juniors rule right now as they've got a half a half a pool length lead. Westboro looks like they're gonna put their final swimmer in the water in the center of the pool. Right now they hold a lead, but Fisher's tried to close it down a little bit. Let's see what Tyler Holbrow can do. See if he can catch them in the pool now. Holbrow for the juniors. A little taste of things to come here by the juniors in lean two. Into the water now, the freshman Wyatt Ruff. Wyatt Ruff up top. And for the seniors, that's Andrew DeLeva. So right now it's wah, wah, wah for the seniors. Uh, the juniors opening up a big lead there. Tyler Holbrow, he's not going to get caught. DeLeva's just open. He can catch Wyatt Ruff. Let's see what happens here. And look at that. Tyler Holbrow, not only has he put the lead out there, he's caught Westwood. Nice swim by Tyler Holbrow. So not only did he represent the juniors, he's representing Hopkinton. Holbrow with a great swim at the end. Takes Westwood at the finish. And up top, that's Wyatt Ruff. He's trying to hold off Fletch Clark. Oh, these seniors need to be embarrassed. Wyatt Ruff, he's chasing down Westwood as well. He's taking third. Nice swim by Wyatt Ruff and Fletch Clark coming in. Oh, seniors. Embarrassed by the juniors and the freshmen. Hey, look, a little bit of the future there in the pool. Nice swims by the seniors. They had a lot of fun. They're all smiles. They're not competitive. They just had a good time. But some things to come there with that junior class. That was Cassie, Cassie White, Mia Carboni, Alyssa Fisher, Tyler Holbrow. A little glimpse into the future. And then the freshman team up top of Istra Karana, Kevin Cavanaugh, Declan Hanscom, and Wyatt Ruff look good too. Taking those seniors out behind the woodshed. That was Kayla McCann, Kate Legassi, Fletcher Clark, and Andrew DeLeva. They had fun, but they didn't win. So it looks like we're going to have a win here tonight for Hopkinton as they, uh, as they uh, are finishing up against Westwood. My guess would be that Hopkinton has won this meet. Swam very well. Congratulations to the Hillers on the season. 
as we'll uh, wait for the cheers and wait for the final score here. Fill a little air time. What I'm going to try to do, if we can, I'm not sure if we can zoom in, John, but maybe we can take a quick picture if people want to see this. This is the flyer that was passed out for Kayla McCann. I don't know if it's easy enough, John, to get that, if you can zoom in on that. That is Kayla McCann. We'll put that up, that way you can see. She's swimming for the Canty Underdog Foundation in honor of Brad Candy and memory of Brad Canty. We got that? All right, that's very good, thank you. We were asked to put that up there and we did. It's Kayla McCann, she's gonna be running the Boston Marathon this year. If you have a moment, go to her GoFundMe page and support her as she runs for the Canty Foundation, the Brad Canty Underdog Scholarship Fund. A really good thing. We'll be putting some money down on her as well. We're going to wait for the final cheers here, wait for the final score, and do one final thank you as we wrap up. All right, let's see what Hopkinton counters with. Let's see what they counter with. All right. Potato chip, potato chip, munch, munch, munch there by Westwood. And we got it up the pool, down the pool, and we're going to get a final score. Hopkinton, 99, Westwood, 76. The Hillers go 6-1 and one in the TVL, holding right now on to second place. And we'll see if they can stay there for the season. Nice swim tonight by the Hillers, 99-76. Congratulations to our seniors once again, wrapping up their final season here. Four-year seniors, Fletch Clark, Andrew Deleva, Alex Matsukis, Ritesh Rajanigan on the men's side, Mary Lauren Burke, Allison Fu, Kate Legassi, Kayla McCann, congratulations. Captains Deleva and Matsukis on the men and Fu, Legassi, McCann on the women's side as they do that. Sweaty hands, slappy thing, as they say, to congratulate each other and just spread germs all over the place. Congratulations to first year head coach Kristen Weber, teacher in Natick, who joined the team this year and has really led this team well. Also to assistant Jeff Libby and to longtime assistant Karen Terry. I kept telling Karen that she couldn't graduate or she couldn't retire until one of the Legassies left. We'll see what her decision is, but she's got permission. She's been doing it for 20 years. And if she does decide to retire, our congratulations and thank you to Karen Terry. I've been involved in the program for 10 years. I've watched four swimmers go through. John Belger, he's got another one coming through. He's graduated a few. And we really look forward and thank her for her service if she does decide to hang it up, but if she doesn't, we'll see her again next year. So, for the 2019 Hillers, this is John Belger on camera, Kevin Legassi, and our thanks again to Eve Weatherhead. We are signing off and wish you all the best in a happy night, uh, 2020.